Uh, today I'm going to do an unboxing of a body cam. Uh, I believe uh, I paid about £27 for this. Uh, also I bought a memory card to go with it. And so I thought you'd be interested. So I thought I'd unbox it. Right here on the channel. Now the reason why I've gone for a body cam is because it actually ties in with something else that's going to be happening on my channel. Uh, going to be going a bit more diverse. Years ago, before my wife got ill, bless her, I used to do quite a few paranormal investigations. But after my wife got ill, and plus I had my own illnesses, um, it sort of fell by the wayside. But now I've definitely got sort of extra time on my hand. I've decided to restart it back up and I've been getting the equipment um, to do the investigations with and part of it is this camera um, this is going to be one of two of this type of camera so there is the camera there you can see that clearly hopefully Quite well boxed, and uh, just open it up. Comes with instruction booklet. Which you can see right there. Now seems to come in two versions, English and Chinese. Uh, once I can get the page open seems to have very clear instructions looks straightforward enough and uh, it's not really in pidgin English either um, yeah seems to be easy enough to understand there are no buttons to press on this camera it's literally a three way switch which to me is great. Um, one way is just straightforward filming and the other is movement. It detects movement and it will start filming for 60 seconds and then it will stop. And when it senses movement again it will film for another 60 seconds and then stop. It also has night vision there are 10 LEDs on the front, which I shall show you in a moment. Um, yeah, that's the, the whole instructions. Right, let's get the actual camera out. The camera is surprisingly small, but it's got some mass to it. It's got a hell of a weight to it. So I think that's mainly because it's got quite a good battery in it. Now apparently you can, once this is fully charged, it will do up to seven hours continuous filming. Um, as I say, it's a body cam. It has 10 LEDs around the front there for night vision. It switches on the night vision automatically once the light gets down below a certain um, ambient light. Uh, you've got movement IR movement detector there so it senses anything moves in front of it as I say it will record up to 60 seconds and then it will automatically go into standby mode uh, quite simple really I don't know if you can see it SD card in that side I think it goes right up to 120 gig 
remember rightly and on this side you have a USB-C which you can charge the camera up with charges the power pack inside takes three to five hours from flat but once fully charged as I say it will I think do up to seven hours recording continuous which I think is brilliant and it's absolutely ideal for what I want um, got a three-way switch here depending on in the middle it's off if you go down towards the bottom of the camera if you switch it to the bottom of the camera then that is just recording straight recording records in 1080p and then if you push it fully up it will do uh, the sensor recording uh, so it will record movement uh, there is an LED light that indicates different colours indicate what it's actually doing but as I say that's all in the, the manual and underneath you also have a little screw thread there so you can screw it onto a tripod it actually does come with accessories We'll just put that there for one minute. We've got a an accessory just screws onto the bottom of there. Screw the camera onto it. You can then do the locking ring up. You can either just use it as a stand, so you could just use it. As, a, as an actual stand if you wanted to quite stable or it's actually got a sticky pad on the bottom so if you want to stick it to a wall and use it as a security camera you could so basically if you wanted to um, yeah you could pop it on onto a wall and angle the camera like that So yeah, so that's rather good. So you've got that, and then not only that, you have a clip which actually locks on. Turn it up the right way. You can actually clip the lock on and clips in really well and then you can it's got a, a gripper there. It's got teeth on it. It's got some pressure behind it, that. It's got some real pressure behind it. So you can put it in a top pocket or jacket pocket and use it as a, so, so use it as a body cam. I will be showing you footage um, later on in the video. Okay? So... Yeah, as I say, quite a bit of weight to this. I was quite surprised. Um, and yet it feels like it's... feels like it's made of plastic. But it must be really extremely hard ABS plastic, I think. Um, and to get it off... Take it off like that. I like the design of it. It's very, very very well built very ruggedly built very nice um, looks like you've got some sort of landlord lanyard you can put a, a lanyard in there I think I don't say anything about it in the manual but I'm assuming you can um, obviously it's got protective tape on it at the moment over the the lens so there's 10 infrared LEDs. There's a new type of LEDs where you can't actually see them, see them illuminated. But they give out an invisible infrared ray or, or light. So it can film in the dark. Obviously it's in daytime at the moment. So, uh, But the footage I show you, I, I use my workshop. I just close the door on it and uh, do it that way. That's the way I'll get around that problem. 
Um, but yeah, that's absolutely excellent. So, yeah, so that's the actual camera. Um, I ordered two of these. I've also got two others coming, which apparently can do nighttime filming as well. I don't think they're quite the same as this. I think they're able to do nighttime filming because they've got their own LEDs built in. But I'll show you them as soon as I get them. They're on their way apparently. Um, yeah, I also bought uh, some memory cards. Is again cheap enough. Um, open that up. Try not to slice my fingers off. And then uh, pull it out of there, like so. And then you just peel it open carefully, like that. And then you've got the mini SD card. And of course you've got the adapter that comes with it. That can go along with all the other 10 adapters that I've got, but that's okay. Um, yep, yeah, now it's easy enough to put the card in. Make sure you obviously put it in the right way. Push it down. If it goes at an angle, you've got it the wrong way round, right? So, the, the contact is to face towards the front of the camera. Okay. Oh, well, I got it wrong. I apologise. No, no, I was right the first time. So, goes in, should go in easy, alright. So the contact is towards the front of the camera, okay, push it down until you feel it lock. To unlock it, you just press it again, pull it out. So contact us towards the front of the camera, it should go in easily, alright, so don't force it. There's, there's a very tiny gap down behind where the slot is, don't get it in there. You need to get it in the front bit. Okay, let it slide in easy, don't force it. Push it down, it locks. Okay, also got a reset button so you can reset the internal electronics. And it's got a microphone as well. Um, I'll show you a demonstration of what the footage is like, what the sound is like, and what it's like in night vision. Um, so that's about all I can tell you about the, the camera. You can, in fact, um, it comes with the lead. Obviously, comes with a lead. I mean, I don't doubt you've seen this on hundreds of other videos, but I will demonstrate it. So nobody says. You didn't show us how it works, but I'm showing you now. Okay, so literally make sure it's the right way around. Again, the curvature is at the front, flat bits at the back. Literally clips in. It's a nice fit, good strong fit. You can now plug it into an ordinary power pack, or you can plug it into a wall charger. The camera will work off a power pack, so if you want to run it for longer, I mean, I think seven hours recording is long enough, but if you want to run it continuously, you could run it off a power pack or run it off a charger continuously. It also does looping. So it will loop over the old files. When the card gets full up, it will start recording and wiping off the original old files. 
So that's again very good. You tend to get that on car in cams, you know, dash cams. Um, but you've got it on this as well, so that's that's rather good. Um, so but you'd be surprised how many folds you can fit onto a 32 gig card. Uh, but as I say, I believe it does go up to 120 gig. So if you want to get a bigger card, by all means do so. One thing I must say to you, when you get one, if you get one of these, the very first thing you do, put the card in, plug it into a charger, and charge it up. It says three to five hours, but the blue and yellow light will flash on and off together in a little hole in there quite bright you can't miss it when they become stationary in other words when they're not flashing it means it's fully charged okay mine took about an hour and a half and then it stopped flashing and they just stayed on steady um, which means it was then fully charged uh, so it was obviously like a good three quarters three quarters full already when I got the camera so um, yeah, we'll get this one charged up and then I'll uh, I'll show you some footage. Okay, so footage coming up next. Here, but we've got some good film. Pretty dark over there, isn't it? What the hell was that? I could have sworn. As you can see it works perfectly well in under normal lighting conditions. And then it changes into night vision once it gets down below a certain ambience. So very good. Probably say up for look up to ten feet maybe tops. And there's a bit of lights. It will work quite well. It's got a little bit of light there to help it. As much so. Seems to work quite efficiently. 
bad. I mean, for the price you're paying for it. Um, at the beginning, I told you it was £27, pound. I got that wrong. I don't know where I got the price £27 pound from. But actually, their price um, before the tax is £14. I bought two, came to £33 for the two. So, yeah. Bit down to the money. So, I'll back door open. So, yeah, well worth the money, I think. And um, the sound quality is very good as well. I mean, I know there's a lot of cameras you can pay a lot more for, and the sound quality is absolutely crap. Um, but it changes over quite nicely as well. To the ordinary uh, indoor lighting, not too bad. So, yeah, pretty good. Anyway, I hope this uh, video has helped you out. And, uh, you know, if you're looking for a cheap camera, with night vision, it's as easy to operate, and you can't do any worse than this. So there's a V45 mini cam body camera. So all over the internet, so you can't miss them. So if you've enjoyed this video. Please give the video a like and uh, I'll see you next time. So for now, take it easy. Bye.